you guys, we are back with another part of Life is Strange, episode 2, so let's just go ahead and continue. So excited to be back. Uh, Max? Help! I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. Okay, wait. I think we did this, but... Oh shit. Okay. Uh what we did last time was like like we look Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move. Oh my gosh. Come on, Max. I don't Hurry. remember if I know what to do. Get me out of here, Max. Please get me out of here. I'm sorry, girl, but I don't know what to do, honestly. I really don't. Max! Oh. What does this do? What can I do with it? Open it? Awesome. It's not locked. Now what? Coming. Max, Look please. at it. I better find the tool to cut those wires. What can we cut it with? Max, get me out of here! <clears throat> Even move it an inch. Please! <laughs> She's about to get ran over. Oh my Please. gosh. Oh my god. Please. Oh my gosh. Come on. I don't even want to see her get ran over. Max, get me out of here! I need something to cut. Cut the thing with, oh my gosh. This is too much. This is too much. No, stop, stop, stop. Stop, that's enough. Oh my gosh. Just run. Crowbar, crowbar. Take it. I can definitely use this bad boy. Okay, okay, walk. Oh my gosh. Can I Max. just jump? Hurry! Alright. Let's open it. Come on. Open it. And then look. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Why can't I use a crowbar? What the fuck? Crowbar. Max. You can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Oh my god. What do we do? Come on, what do Max. I do? Hurry! This is so annoying. I swear. Please get me out of here. Can we go in here? Max. Score. Good. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep like rewinding time so we can find this stuff. Oh my gosh. Open this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Take it, take it to the floor. Show them, show them how you go. Drop it, drop it, drop okay. it. Okay, oh, what can I slice with this? Drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay. Let's get out, let's get out. In and out, no problem. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I hate when it has. Takes like a million years to let me go walk. Okay, open it. Please get Pliers. Out of here. Which wire to cut? The red one. Now that's the right cable. Hey, I didn't even know which one. Pull it. Pull it. Yes, I did it. <gasps> oh. oh my 
my gosh, I'm a hero. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm just cool playing with different settings. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur. Okay, I just really want you guys to be able to hear them, so I'm gonna turn it up a lot. Our companion. <laughs> my powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Sorry, I'm drinking my Chipotle Sprite. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Mm, I doubt it. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, who? Um. Uh, what do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! <laughs> like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. They're so cute. Enter the Vortex Club in October. So we're back at school. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. I don't want to do any wandering. Let's see if we can talk so to, to Sir? Principal. Uh, hello, Max. Like would would you like to tell me what you would do oh. yesterday? No. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Okay, we'll get to that meeting, stupid. I was just trying to be nice, you know? These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Speak to him. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. Mm -hmm. And I am sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I was right. wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're Let a him. combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. You don't have to all slap her, though. Are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Mm -hmm. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students. Sure. You. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. Mm -hmm. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. Yeah. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. He wouldn't even answer the question. That's all, Max. He knows what happened to her. He does. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. Ooh. Dang. That might be the day, too. 
gun free zone. Good thing I left my AK at home. Um, hi, Trevor. Pretty cute. Trevor surveys his domain. No, he's not that cute. <laughs> um, let's speak to Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. <laughs> do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Alright, biatch. Alright, biatch. Hey, Courtney. Really? Uh, dress code. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Thank you, girl. Hey, we're gonna party, guys. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hi, friends. You don't want to talk to me? Talk to me. All right. I guess it's whatever. Don't even gotta be cool, okay? Hi, Zach. Hello, Zach. What's up, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. Wow, I'm really? always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Mm, it's over. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Me either. Nobody want? does. Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Haha, <laughs> everybody's starting to like me. Y'all are pretty tall. Hey, want to be my boyfriend? Alright, um, why was this torn down? Let's look. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Alright, um, I don't know what else to do, honestly. I guess we can go through this hall. See if we see anybody we know. Ooh, got a message. Hey, girl. Okay. Hey, girl. Sit down. Science. Science. I don't know what this is. I'm in sci-fi lab now. I'm no squattinger's kitty. See you soon. I still have time. Okay. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Oh, yeah, I could. I don't know who Luke is, but I'm I not, don't feel like talking. So let's go to science. Me, science lab. Hi, Miss Grant. Let's speak to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Oh, were you? It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. <laughs> petition. How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing on okay. Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how mm -hmm. they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use okay. them Okay. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. Yeah, bye. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, so, hi, Warren. What's your messed up face? Let's look at the chemistry Bring stuff. The brain. And speak to hey, Warren. Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. How about potassium? I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works? You get a free hug. It's not gonna work. Is that what he Weird tried to science. do? 
Okay, let's try it. Let's try. What's the face? What is it called? Hey, War. What did he ask? Asking me. Have daddy. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Cool. This can't be that hard. Alright. Hi, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Warren. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh. I guess oh. he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But I forgot he came to his rescue anyway. Not supposed to tell anybody. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. She's so pretty. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. Yeah, bye, Brick. Just wanted to say hi. That's all. It's really all. All right. What else do we do? Hi, girl. Okay, you gotta push me out the way. She saw me. Yo, coming. Maxwell Smart. Talk later. Cool. I want to see your face. Can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Okay, what's wrong? Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate. 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 Leave me alone. Kate. Kate. What do you want from me? Kate, I want to talk. Forget you then. I'm just trying to help. But okay, guess you don't. You don't care about my help. You don't want it. So let's speak to this fine mother Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate and Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. David I Madsen. stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. <laughs> Always really? take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? Look, we were going to take you, I but... I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. Remember when... I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Well, kind of. It was a missed call. I kinda. will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel yeah, Amber? Really. What does she have to do with Kate? Something with David Mason. It's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Uh, no. Hmm. I don't know what to do, guys. Um. Um. Well, it. Uh, 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 not now. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. He's so Hello. fine, Lord. Yes? What kind of phone uh, you got, boy? Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. All right. Bye. Cutie. Hi, Stella. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Stella, talk to me, Stella. Nina, Stella. Out of really? Stella, Turn left, please. Okay. Show me the love. I guess. How do I look, Taylor? Do you, you look, look horrible. No time to talk, Max. 
Posing in progress. Ooh, let's get in front of the picture. Come on, come on. Please let me in front of the picture. Dang it. I wish I could get in front. Can I? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or the she'll hell? run to Mr. Duffison. Like he gives a shit. I'm like right here. Does. Max is such a little... Shh. I think she can hear us. Look, I'm right here. Here comes the mysterious the Max. Hell? Disguised as a pixie hipster. I was right there. Paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow. <laughs> Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down? Too late, Biatch. I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. I oh, hate so them. You better check that chair. Make sure I ain't got no stupid glue on it. Alright, let's sit down. What is about to happen? Oh, look at Kate. Okay, why is David <gasps> what the taking heck? photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. He is so weird, I swear. Oops. Oh my gosh, I unplugged my headphones. All right, um, that is so weird. Whatever, it's whatever. What up, Max? Hi, Warren. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate yeah. has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Bye, Everybody Warren. else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has I guess seen Kate will miss class now. I just seen her. I'm worried about her. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. Guess we're gonna I draw. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something <laughs> to judge, so they never take a good look at them. Somebody better wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Coy, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? So Yeah, it's too late. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Oh, that's his book. <laughs> Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Oh, shit. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Oh, my God. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? No. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely I do not miss school at all. Contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down <gasps> at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Oh my everybody God. remain seated. Why are they all this You gotta listen to the teacher. <laughs> the heck? We would have gotten so much trouble. Is this for real? Hold up. It no. Out. I didn't think she was that. <gasps> Did Kate kill herself? Kate is up there. She's gonna kill herself. Watch. Who is that up there? Kate? I, I knew it. Oh, oh my god! I have to do something to help her. Is that Kate? Not again. Not now. Whoa, I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. What can we do? What the hell? Okay, stop, girl, stop. What can we do? Is everybody frozen? 
Can we still walk? Going, Max. You can do it. Keep going. Oh my gosh. This is too much. I don't want Kate to kill herself. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I am just lost for words. So what do I do? Do I go to the door? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Run up to her, grab her, pull her back. Oh my gosh, she's crazy. I knew she was going to do that. Kate! Oh. oh my gosh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have oh. to do this by myself. We don't have any power. Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. <laughs> you matter not... Whoa, you matter not just to me. Wait, things will get better. You matter not just... You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help Well, I couldn't. I was busy, phone girl. Phone. My phone died. I was with Chloe. Thought it was warm. It was in silent mode. I swear, it was in silent mode. And I didn't see it. Or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. I'm sorry. What would there I have done? There is no everybody. There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed My help? phone was on silent. You told me to do nothing. No, because we're gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Aww. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. No. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. If you something like that was happening, forever. I would move. No like... wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> but I'll come with you. Yay. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh my gosh. Your sisters, your brothers, your father, your mother. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. Kate, please stop. Listen. 
This isn't the I thought she was coming. Oh my god. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. I don't know. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Can we can we rewind? Oh my god. What the heck? I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. But we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh before she did. What Do she we did. have help there? <laughs> Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. Oh my god. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. I take the well-being of every student I have more tears in my eyes. That is so what sad. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. Yes. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mm-hmm. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class. So you should have known something was amiss. Well, what can Mr. You Prescott, that? since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. And then me for being on the roof with her. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please tell us everything. Nathan dosed her. Jeffrey made her cry. David bullied her. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Nathan dosed her. David bullied her. Nathan. This might be a horrible mistake. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. Mm -hmm. How about we talk about you waiting I love you, in the girl's hey, bathroom? That's total <gasps> slander. Ooh. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told Ooh. me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You Ooh. can't. She's smoking and selling <gasps> dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. What the heck? That has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Hate you, Therefore, David. Max, Should've I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse what me. What about Nathan? I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Mm, we're going to say David. I think should we say David? Yeah, I'm not gonna use Jefferson. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up! Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. 
I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals oh marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say... Um. Excuse me. I think Max... Sign here to confirm. Okay, I'm gonna say that. I should have went with Nathan. I don't know. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. That is so sad. I thought we were gonna be able to to stop Kate. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. <laughs> Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Really? Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. <laughs> Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? I don't know. What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Wow. <laughs> they are so cute. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Oh, really? What the hell? Why is he screaming at him? For what? Oh, hope he didn't get fired or anything. Why is she crying? Is she crying? Are they in a relationship? They're probably happy that she killed herself. I love dogs, they're so cute. It's probably playing music, but like we can't hear anything. I wonder, I can't pause it. Why can't I go to settings? Oh look, that is so sad. I can't believe she did that. 
You will live in our hearts forever, Kate. Mm -hmm. She was so sweet. Suicide is never the answer, guys. Never. Because we just find out what's going on together. I really have tears in my eyes, guys. That is so sad. That's Rachel's, what is that, a binder? This is the police. He has Kate. He has Rachel. Whoever Lynn is. That is the security guard or whatever. Alrighty, guys. So we finished episode two. That was really crazy. And I can't wait for episode three. So I'll see you guys in episode three. So, yeah. Bye-bye.